Hello everybody, welcome to Manor Lords. I'm Rob and I guess welcome to the game house too. This is going to be our first let's play of Manor Lords. Uh, I will tell you straight up, I've been looking forward to this game for so freaking long. Um, I've had it wishlisted for as long as I possibly could. I did not get early access necessarily. I guess this game's technically still early access, but even earlier access. Um, and we're just going to do a full-on playthrough. Uh, I don't know, really know what the end game is going to be. I've heard there's not much of an end game right now, which is fine. But um, I wanted to provide this kind of gameplay and this let's play um, for all of our fans over at the game house. And for anybody who's new, uh, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you guys think of this type of content. I'm doing a lot of let's plays if you've been watching my Father's Frontier one or uh, my Lycera uh, Summit Kingdom one. I anticipate more of these types of games will be coming your way um along with a bunch of other content that we do over there so uh i hope you guys will join me on this journey and enjoy it i know i've been looking forward to it and we already have the character selection and everything okay so uh let's get this started here um we're gonna start with i'm gonna do this for my friend chris this is the name he's been wanting me to pick for a while um, and I guess this is going to be kind of what our actual Lord looks like. And then we're going to pick all of the colors and everything for our coat of arms. Very exciting stuff, to say the least. Um, hmm, who are we going to pick here? I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards this dude. He's looking pretty pretty cool. Uh, big old bushy mustache with his chainmail armor and his ha helmet. Uh, I don't know if I can ever change this, but I think, I think this is going to be our guy here. Uh, he looks pretty tough, so... Uh, we're gonna do that and then primary color uh, if you know anything about me I'm always gonna choose purple definitely a fan of purple um, we'll do purple and black because I think that's cool and we'll do a little white as our outline color that looks weird right now but that's not the thing I'm going to pick so let's check out all these different symbols so there's no symbol um, all right that looks very much like the very old Germans. Um, let's see what else we got here to pick from. Crowns are always cool. It looks like it's a little too big, though. Towers are also fun, like castles and towers. That's looking cool. Kind of like that sing <coughs> Excuse me, single tower. Um, hmm, single tower looks looking good. I, I kind of like that one, but we'll see here. Uh, what else do we got to pick from the sword? Uh, number of instances. Oh, nice. Wow, that's cool. Oh, and then there's the scale, too. Dude, that's pretty cool. I wish you could do, like, multiple things. Uh, in terms of, like, you know, having, like, a sword. A bunch of swords surrounding something else, but... That's really cool. God, there's so much. So if you don't know much about this game, I should probably talk about that. This game has been in development for a while. It is a city builder. It is a resource manager. Uh, but why I think a lot of people are so excited about it is because while all of that's great, um, the combat is very Total War based uh, if you play those games. Um, and so I think that this game is a great combination of all of those things. Uh, I wonder if I can even have, like, multiple castles. I can't. That's so wild. Um, okay. So, yeah. So, the, the reason why everybody's playing this, I think, and why it's, like, one of the most requested games in the last few months. I think it was, like, over 3 million uh, wishlisted on Steam. Uh, is because I think all the strategy fans in, in the world, basically, are wanting to play this game. So, um, here's what we're going to do. I do like the basic rack background, but let's give this a try. Oh boy. How does the black look with that? Not great, honestly. The white looks kind of cool though, but I think I'd want to switch it up. So I think I'd want to go white and purple. That's kind of cool. It's just so much white is the problem. I can go purple on purple. How about black and purple? Let's see that. That looks pretty sick, actually. All right, I think that's what we're gonna do. And then we gotta decide, so that's the background. I guess technically the coat of arms makes this a little different too. So let's see. Oh, whoa. Okay, so this adds multiple different layers to everything. 
That's wild. I'm a simple kind of guy, and I kind of want to get into the game. So I think we're going to do this one for now. I may mess around with this at a different... And you can even... Holy crap. You can change the angle of it. Dude, this... So this game was also made by a single developer, which is what's crazy. I mean, like, just one person. Um, all of this stuff is so awesome. Oh, my goodness. I am just... I'm loving it. Um, look, I think we're going to go... Uh, I think we're going with a tower of some kind. Maybe like... Oh, maybe not. Oh, uh, I don't like it as much with that background. We got to get into it though. Holy crap, that's insane. Um, you know what? I think we're going to go with the lion. I think the lion's pretty cool. Let's make sure it actually fits in there. Um... So let's change the color of this line a little bit too. Does that... Oh, that doesn't really do much. Man, that lion looks pretty cool in purple, but that's all right. Um, let's go with a white lion. With a purple tongue. I wish I could get rid of the, the hat. Or the crown. Not the hat. <laughs> My bad. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. I think that looks kind of cool. Like I said, I kind of want to get moving on here. So we're going to continue on. Scenario template. Rise to prosperity. So that I didn't know there were different ones. Okay. Uh, fulfill the requirements of your citizens. Plan and rule your medieval town as you see fit without worrying about combat. Uh, no, we want combat. So two territories in the north are claimed by an illegitimate baron whose castle is located off the map. Bandit camps reside in the other unclaimed regions. Mm. Okay. Conquer every region. All right. Uh, grow your city and raise your force as quickly as you can. The lands are pestered by raiders and undefended settlements will quickly perish. Wow. Survive all the attacks and reach the large town settlement. Okay. So we're going to have multiple playthroughs without a doubt. Very cool. Um, I think we're going to do this one. Restoring the peace. Because I think we want to try to take on that baron. Um, our end goal is going to be domination or conquest claim all the regions to win um okay so there is an end game uh yeah i mean let's let's do that i think that's fine off map adversaries present ai aggressiveness is balanced that seems fine for now that's good raider free years two years before raiders start happening this is our first playthrough i don't know how the timing of the game goes so i think we'll keep that as it is initial bandit camps it's fine random bandit camp i think we're just gonna do just the basics for right now looks like there are gonna be more maps and everything to come from this as well so um there's the let's see yeah we'll just do default for this first one because i want to get used to the controls and everything but let's get into it manor lords here we go I'm so excited. Look at all this art that they had done, too. My goodness. I mean, seriously, this is wild to me that one person made this game. Oh, boy. I'm really... Like, the fact that also this is early access makes me really excited. I don't know if there's a cutscene to start. Looks like there might be, kind of. Oh, things are taking a second to load in. Here we go. Okay. We have a new message. Let's start here. Victory condition dominance. Build up your town, your manor, and when ready, press claims towards regions owned by your opponents. Once a claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. I'll unite these lands under my rule. Yes, I will. Okay, so I don't know what to do yet. So I guess it's going to tell me. I wonder if I can... I'm going to rename it. Oh, this is the entire region. Is Eich... Eichenhau. All right. Um... If you guys want to, if you guys want me to change this at some point, let me know, because uh, I think this first one will be going out on launch day, uh, and I'll potentially have time to read some of the comments. It's gonna depend. It may be for a second playthrough. I'll be completely honest with you guys, but let's do visit mode real quick and just see. Oh gosh, here's my dude. Look at his beard. This is such a cool part of the game too. They have. He, he added a full-on just like run around and check out your settlement mode so crazy man i wish i had like a super top of the line computer 
because then I bet this game would look unbelievable. But we'll deal with that for now. So, okay. Um, in Manor Lords, families need food, fuel, and a roof above their heads to survive. Supplies in the region panel show how much you've got left. Okay, so we've got some food. Some So we got like almost like 20 days worth is what it looks like here. So this is how we move. This is good. Rotation. We'll zoom on in here. Look at our settlers here. Our peeps that are going to be ready to help us out. Um, all right. So how do we want to start this, I guess? Is there a way to pause? There is a way to pause. All right. So we're in March. Seasons are deeply connected to people's lives and affect different jobs. Spring is March till May. Frequent raining. Crops grow. Possible droughts for the summer, autumn, and winter. Um... Okay, so consumption is double and lack of firewood may cause freezing. Sheep shearing is forbidden during this time period. All right. Seasonal resources are gone and firewood. Okay, so we probably got to just start figuring out our... I mean, we have tents for now. I, I think we want to maybe set some stuff up. So let's look around here. This view shows you which regions are under whose control. You can press... Claims other regions when you gain enough influence. All right. That sounds good. So who is this person? Drop a paragraph here. Uh, maybe that's not complete. I write to you. Oh, I get to pick. Wow. So I can literally pick which one I want. That's pretty cool. What about to this guy? To the outlaws. Dear outlaws. <laughs> It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm going to be friends with the Outlaws fam. So, all right. So, here's all the different regions we have. I feel like I've seen mostly people starting down in these regions. But, uh, interesting. So, there are definitely spots up here. I mean, we're not in a terrible spot, to be honest with you. Um, I'll probably try to go to one of these corner areas, though, for our first conquests. But... Um, all right, so it looks like we have berries. We got some wild animals down here, a clay deposit, a stone deposit, and an iron deposit, and we're starting here. So one of the things I heard is you don't want to get rid of too many trees necessarily. So I think our city center is going to be right here, most likely, something like that, because um, I think that'll also give us a chance to connect to the road, it looks like, up here. And hopefully will give us a good place to defend. I'm almost considering putting it here on the edge of the map. But maybe that's like our fallback spot. So, okay. Let's get into this. We have our roads here. Oh, okay. Some workplaces allow villagers to use handcarts to transport up to 10 goods at once. However, pulling a handcart is off-road is extremely slow. Okay. Got it. Not really showing much here. Maybe that's on me. Um... So I do know the roads are like a really good system here as well. Um, hmm. Maybe it's better that we place places. I don't know. Let's see what we got here. So we got a logging camp. Every region in Manor Lords has strengths and weaknesses. Be sure to check all the resource deposits as well as investigate the soil fertility. Okay. So then... Okay, these are the different overlays. So I know water, too, is very important. Um, looks like we have some good some good areas for water. Emmer fertility, I'm pretty sure, is uh, wheat. Kind of a bummer, because this is basically where we wanted to go. Um, looks like the emmer fertility... Wait, how do I bring that back up? No, come back! Tell me, how do I do this? How do I check? No crap. Uh, there's got to be a way for me to do this. Not that. No. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so I just got to click on the building button. All right. Flax fertility is not here at all. Barley fertility, basically not at all. And rye, some fertility. So it's kind of like our emmer fertility and stuff is going to be back here maybe. Um. Huh. I really didn't want to have, because it looks like the emmer fertility is great over here. It looks like everything is very much fine over there. Not as great over here. 
better over here. Man, we didn't get a great starting location, did we? That's okay. Smell and fire hazard. Okay. Um, all right. So that'll be... Sorry, as I make my weird noises here. Um, so here's what I think we're going to do. We're going to start a logging camp right here. Because then we can maybe clear out this area and actually make it our city center. And then we can put up the uh, the farm, the emmer, and I guess probably not flax. Basically, the emmer and rye farms are going to go right there. All right, that's what we've decided. So, logging camp first. I heard that that's important. So, let's, um... Hmm. For now, let's get this logging camp, like, right there. Unassigned families work on construction automatically. Great, I love that. Timber transfer requires ox to be moved. Villagers will automatically get the ox when they need it. All right, well, we have an ox here. I've heard that you potentially want two hitching posts. So for now, we'll do that. And then uh, a woodcutter's lodge is probably important as well. I would imagine it's an intelligent... Wait, how do we... Okay, so that's how I rotate it. Come back over here. Nope. There we go. All right. So, I want this to be for the road. So, yeah, we'll get rid of this tree. Just this one tree. Like I said, I don't want to get rid of trees too often. I'm going to put it right here next to our logging camp. Oh, so it just gets rid of it automatically. Okay, that's also good to know. Uh, a saw pit. Might as well keep it all as close as we can. Um, hmm. Let's just put it all let's just put it all next to each other for now and then we'll do a forester hut later i think let's do a hunting camp as well so where's our hunting stuff it's over here oh boy they're gonna have a little bit to go oh well you know they're hunters they'll get used to it maybe all right here's a nice little clearing for them so let's get that hunting there wait why'd it move what the heck Wait, I'm confused. Why'd that move? Right, let's demolish this. Hmm. Let's try that again. Wait, is there something? Does it say should I not do that? Workers have wild animals produce. Yeah, okay. Okay, maybe I shouldn't. Let's just put it over here. And then let's get our forager hut. Looks like that's going to be perfectly right there with the rest of our stuff. Look at this. <gasps> Wonderful. So they'll just walk over there. Start to create a little curve in the road here. Let's get our road going. So this will be our first road. We'll get it uh, completely connected to each area here. Like that. We'll take a little. We'll build it like that. Wonderful. And then we're gonna like we're gonna move our way around here. So we'll do this to that. Oh my gosh, this road construction is very satisfying. And then I guess for now, because they are gonna want something like easier to get from their home, we'll do that. Okay. Let's move forward. So, they're going to get to work on all this stuff now. I'm not going to have enough families necessarily to do all these things. So, I'm pretty sure I can probably... I don't know. Figure this stuff out later. But, um... I know that we'll want to look at some of these other things. So, we have mines that we'll want to deal with at some point. Logistics. Need to get these huts going, it looks like. A pack station. Barter connection allowing you to send and receive goods. Okay, that's good to know. And then again, I know I know we're gonna want another hitching post for sure. We've got our burgage plots, our wells. We will definitely need a well. Uh, in almost all cases, resources and mana lords have to be physically moved. It can take a moment, so feel free to change the game speed if you feel like it. Game controls are in the bottom right. Okay, well let's go four times faster. These graphics are a little weird too. I may I may change it 
at some point, to be honest with you. Because they're, I mean, they're not bad, but I just feel like maybe I'm missing some stuff. So what are we doing here, guys? Oh, they're getting all the stuff. Look at that. Taking it from our supplies over here. Well, okay, we should make that a little easier for them to get to. That seems like a good idea. Because I said it does take time. So maybe... Hmm, is this here? Uh, I'm going to make this a lower priority. I want to get some of this other stuff done first. So let's get... Uh, see, medium. All right, what's our new message? I've heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. I hope you will not judge me by the rumors and slanders that some may be... Uh, may spread about me. Signed and sealed uh, by my own seal. Hildebolt von Baronroot. Nice. Look at him. Look at that ugly mug. You have no rightful claim. I need silver. Surprise war. Okay, nice. Alright, I'm going to tell him. Yeah. Get out of here. Don't worry about it because I can't really stop you for now. But just know that I'm going to one day. Me and my bushy beard. All right, now where's my person? Let's see. What are they doing? Oh, they're over here on the road. Man, it's too bad I can't help you guys out. Look at all you guys. You guys are just hanging, talking over here. Oh, what? What does it mean? Say. Say it. This mode is way too fun. I feel like I'm going to waste so much time. What? Summer is coming soon. Look. We'll run with the ox. Make it move faster. Run, 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 run. Oh, gosh. All right. How do I get out of this? Just press escape. Wow. That's pretty cool. And it just drops you in like you're not there anymore. Man, that's cool. I'm loving it. Okay, I got to speed things up. Sorry. I keep just getting distracted. Um, all right. So we have a marketplace we'll have to build at some point. A burgage plots. That's important. The tavern to get drunk at. And then we'll need our first wooden church hopefully this will not turn out like my uh farthest frontier playthrough where i was losing people early on left and right so uh exposed goods we need a storehouse and a granary okay that's good to know this building has no assigned family selected and whenever they start construction okay so what is this, this is the woodcutter's lodge all right well we need to get our logging camp first look at this every single part of this game like how freaking detailed is this this is wild. Like, you can see them actually, like, putting the logs in, or the, the boards in everywhere. My, this is so cool. Wow. Look at that. Amazing. All right. Uh, while human workforce uh, has to be assigned by default, livestock workforce is shared between workplaces. However, you can go, you can bind it to a workplace permanently. The advanced tab... Just watch out so that you have unassigned oxen to have construction going on. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, we'll do that at some point. Um, like I said, I want to get this logging thing going first. Because uh, we need we need it. We, we need it for our storage. For our granary and our storehouse. Which we'll put our granary for sure. Our granary is going to go over here. Right next to where we will eventually have... Wait. Where's the fertility? All right, this seems like it's close enough. I mean, like, this is a, pre a relatively short distance. So, we'll definitely put the granary over here. We're going to run out of stone here as well soon. So, why don't we put this granary? We're going to put it right on the edge. As close as we can. And then, we'll need storehousing. But, all right, time to give a family. So, I think this is going to be one person here working on this logging camp. Look at him go. He's going to town. That tree never stood a chance. It's a goner. Boom. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Um, so they're getting to work on this. This is good. How did this turn out? Oh, they got it done already. Holy moly. Okay. Well, we might as well. So how many families do we have? That's one thing I haven't looked at here. So we have 10 total population. Five level one families, so husband and wife. Um, all right, so we can assign one person here, it would seem. 
Uh, we'll assign one to the foraging, so we have food. Cut some logs up as well, one there and one there. Is there like an overall way for me to see assigned, unassigned? Families was, oh crap, okay, that's right. Um, all right, so I can't assign one of them. Uh, we need wood cutting. I don't know that we need the logs, so I'm gonna unassign you. So that's where that is. Living spaces we'll need to make here soon as well. Our approval rating, homelessness is the biggest reason why it's down. That makes sense. Good public order. I wonder what it would be like to actually have a revolt. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. So it's gonna be one family putting all this together for now. Sorry, folks. Whoever this one unassigned family is. You guys are gonna be not great. Wait, there's a name for your ox? Nickel, look at Nickel over here, just getting to work. Hello there, Nickel. We love you and we appreciate all of your hard work and we're probably not gonna eat you for a while. Probably. Um, <laughs> and then we have, who's he being guided by? Or is that Nickel? No? Albrecht? No, that is, so Nickel is that. Okay, so it's Albrecht. Thank you, Albrecht. Albrecht? I don't know. Something like that. Albrecht. Um, all right. Yeah, we got to get this moving faster. So we're still in March. I wonder how long the days are or like the time period is because I can't really tell. But we'll figure that out. Family requests more market. Um, what animals have migrated? Again? Oh, no. Okay, they're right there. All right, we're good. I know it's going to take them time, but I don't want to like run a freaking road like all the way through all this so hunter camp's just gonna have to be out there for now and we'll see maybe i'll regret that and need to move it over here at some point but um all right so i really do think that this 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 will be our city center then so we'll want like our markets and stuff where all this is um i want to keep them close to where they're working so i think we'll start with our first burgage plots some buildings have flexible borders. Place four points to de a designated area. The cursor will snap to the road and buildings to try and create organic shape. If you uh, leave more space for the future or for future extension upgrades, the first two points mark the front of the house by default. Okay. That's good to know. So then, let's do that. So, man, look at that. Just so many good points. Um,. We're going to put them, like, right here on the corner for now. Now, again, we may change that up. I may move houses around. We'll just have to see. But for now, I think this is a good idea. So, we're going to go... We're going to go a little wide, like that. And then... I saw there was, like, a way to get, like, a guaranteed, like, two potential houses. There we go. So, that's enough room for an expansion. Let me see, how does that work? I'm interested. So what if I went like this, this? Okay, I think this is good. We're leaving room for expansion. I don't know. Oh, nice, so it shows you where you're going too. Okay, cool, so we got our first one. Now let's connect it with our second one here. I want it to basically be the same. Nice. And then we'll get another one going here like this. About the same, it looks like. Holy crap, okay. Nice, look at that. We're doing it, fam. This is beautiful. Uh, Not enough goods, that's fine. I don't care about that necessarily. I mean, I care, obviously. I don't want our people to be upset. That's okay. Can I just place it anyways? Okay, no, I literally can't unless if we have enough wood. So, okay. That is good to know. Looks like they're getting to work on our houses here. So they're getting all the woods and stuff that we need. Now we're going to probably need some wood planks, I would assume, for this, right? Uh, maybe not. Maybe just wood for now. Maybe wood planks are for later. What are you making again? Log storage. Oh, yeah, we're going to need storage too. Crap. We'll probably put those behind the houses. Okay, so we've got the woodcutter's log and the logging camp. P 
People suffering from disease may stop working. Access to herbs may speed up their recovery. Well, all right, let's take a look at that real quick. So where are some herbies? Uh, I'm not really seeing any. So how do you get access to herbs? I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Uh, love that we have a trading place like right there, by the way, too. Okay, we continue on. Let's get this sped back up. Let's get these houses built. I'm liking the. I'm liking our little town here. I request some market area for their hunting camp. Okay, well, I will get that figured out as well. Uh, okay, well, if we have enough goods for now, oh, we still need the storage areas. That's right. Uh, okay, so we got the granary done. Did I not make a storehouse? I thought I did. Maybe not. Does it tell you how many you have? I guess I didn't make a storehouse. Oopsies. Um, well, we'll want to put it closer to everything. So why don't we just put it? All right. Well, I don't want to waste that space. So why don't we do that. Maybe we'll put a house there. But like this is going to be kind of our main roads in this area right now. I think. Me thinks that'll be the case. But we will see. Okay. How are we doing over here? So we got our one peoples over here. Working away. Slaving away at killing animals. Look at him. What are you doing right now? Looks like a deer. Oh, look at him. They're all majestic over here. That's a lot of deer, man. We got plenty of meat. That's for sure. How is foraging going? Walking through the forest, looking for the foragers. Not seeing them, but I am seeing these berries, so that's good. Oh, we got a new one. We'll move to the plot, and if approval is high enough, it might attract new families too. However, families need more than just space to be happy. Click on the building to check on their residential requirements. Okay, well, good news. We got a new family. Yay us. Now we can get the saw pit working. Wait, no, we just got one person. Right? Let me see. Oh, no. Sorry. Okay, yeah, that takes away. So we don't want that. Nope, 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 nope. I need you guys to finish these houses. So look at our our first home. Our first burgage. Now, apparently, they can, like, have, like, farms and stuff in the back here. So I may have made it still a little small. But we're learning on the go, guys. It's, it's 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 all it's all good um let's at least finish the housing i think see because we should have enough wood we do all right so we'll go like this like a dis wait no come back why are you working oh controls sorry go like that and like that there we go Yeah, we'll do our last one here, too. I'm not messing around. There we go. Alright, so we'll have housing for all five families. The five families of the mafioso. Not really. This is in, I think, Germany, maybe. So, oh, here we go. Let's see them We're putting our house together. And they're so fast. I mean, I guess if you have literally nothing else to do other than I need to survive, so I should make this house as quickly as possible. <laughs> that makes sense. Right, we're going to need stone. Where's stone? Our stone deposits all the way up here, huh? Hmm. Not ideal. And it looks like it's only 140, so we may even have to buy some at some point. But look at our town. Ah, oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. We got the rain happening right now. It's May. We got our first couple houses put together so people aren't dying. Now, let's see. So, what do you want? Water access. Oh, crap. I totally forgot about water. These people are probably dying from thirst. Where's my water? Where are you at, water? Oh, no. Stone. Residential. There it is. The well. Holy moly. How could I forget about the well? I did it. I promise. 
Kind of. All right, so we could, yeah, we could put our well right here, right? I mean, that's pretty close to everything and everybody. Either that or honestly, for now, let's just put it there. If I need to move it, we'll do that, but that's important. That's actually probably the most important thing. Let's get these people some water. Because then if stuff tries to, like, catch on fire, you know, we won't have to deal with that. Here they go. They're digging their well. Hurry, Nickel! I believe in you. Oh, no, you're hanging out with Bartolms. Hello, Bartolms. I think we will want another hitching post at some point. I mean, look at this. Even the water on the freaking streets, dude, on the roads. Yeah, this is wild. The detail level in this game, the love and attention is something like I've never seen, truly, uh, in certain in certain games. Like, Can you imagine if this person had a whole bunch of people who had helped them with this game? Like, from the very start. Wouldn't have taken them seven years to make it, which I'm glad it did. I'm sure they took their time and really enjoyed it. But I, I just wonder what this game will be like as it moves forward. I feel like there's just so much good stuff coming from it. Look at them go. We're going to have our, our, our last two houses built, too. There we go. Wonderful. I will eventually stop watching this stuff, I promise. But I'm just so taken taken <laughs> i'm so <laughs> um i am just baffled truly by how beautiful this game is oh they even have outhouses look at that there's a dog where's the dog where you at pup i love it because they like use the fence to fit where you want to be oh this is awesome absolutely wonderful i really like the look too i know it's probably not like everybody's favorite being so close but whatever all right so that's done like i guess i want to get these areas kind of cleared out so we can make them a little bit bigger honestly but um yeah we'll do the reforestation stuff maybe down here once we move everything down there eventually all right, so what's next on our list of things to do? We're not going to be doing farming, I don't think, soon enough because we don't have enough people. Homelessness is the biggest problem. But I... I'm confused. Everybody should have a home now, right? Expand living space. All right, that's fine. Yeah. I guess maybe I need to build another one so that more people will come. Possibly. Let's give that a... Oh, no. Here we go. Settlement level increased. Let's go. Here we go. Um, let's get more population. You need to have enough empty burgage plots, and your approval needs to be over 50. Awesome. That's good to know. Let's pause real quick and read this message. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived. And you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, you will need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows. Either by making them or importing them from the other lands. Okay. Let's form this militia then. Where, where are we at here? Alright. Are those our... That's stone. Where's our militia? Interesting. So we have militia footmen, spear, militia, pole arms, and our archers. Um, then we can hire mercenaries. So let's see here. The Wayward Sons. The region of Francia. That's over there in France, in case you didn't know. So they're expensive, all these places, but they have archers and archers, infantry, spearmen, archers, mercenary spearmen, and infantry. Okay, that'll be worth keeping note of, but we have 10 people for our army right now. I think it would be best to have five spearmen. Okay, the male villagers will be evenly distributed between all militia units. Then they will try to find the required 
re equipment. The weapon and shield depends on the unit type, while the maximum quality of body armor and helmet depends on villagers' residence level. Okay. After bringing all the necessary equipment home, the unit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Only then will you be able to rally your unit. Beautiful. So we have 10. Oh, so this just instantly goes to, to 10. Um, all right, so I want to have that. I'm going to split it. And that should be it, hopefully. Well, let's see how that works. Get things sped up here. There are only five people, so that would make sense. Um, are there only five men, I should say, so that makes sense. All right, family members join one of the settlers. That's beautiful. Let's get another Burgage plot built, as it would seem that that's something that we're going to need. So, I also want to make the road maybe a little bit. Um, do I really want to cut this entire area off? I think I want to save that for something else. So we'll keep the, you know what? We're going to keep the water. Here's what we're going to do. Oh, I love that. Yep, 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 yep. yep do that. So we'll do that. And then, honestly, let's just, yeah, I want to do this. It's going to seem stupid, but you'll see what I'm doing here in a second, maybe. So our fertility, again, is all the way up there, basically. So we'll bring this around town. Okay, whatever. We won't do that. Let's just get this spread back here, because then maybe we can get, like, the market added to this area in the back here. So why don't we do that? And we'll make a little road. Yep goes like a this beautiful so we'll have more land for burgage plots let's start planning um i think we're gonna put the market like here i think this is where we would normally put the market so let's move this hitching post can i move this relocate yes awesome so let's relocate this hitching post for now let's put it here Okay, and then the supplies need to get moved as well, but that's okay. Hopefully these people will get that stuff picked up. Because then, yeah, there we go. No more supplies there. Somebody should be able to get that at some point. Um, all right, so now how do I remove road? So if I press Alt. Yes. Remove that road. Oh, crap. Okay, so I just removed that entire road. Um, no, we must have you go through here. Okay, there we go. Um, you know what? I don't like this road either now. Be gone with you. Yes. All right, so again, main road is going to be here. Uh, here. there no i don't want a curved road so let's do that and that okay although it looks kind of weird yeah, there's a little, there's a slight curve there all right let's build our market marketplace so i know marketplaces are pretty important so let's see go three wide Oh, is it really going to be a problem because of this stuff? Because of these supplies? We have a storehouse. But we don't have anybody doing anything on it. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. We'll, f we'll deal with it. Um, you know what? We'll go the marketplace like this instead. Plot points. Available market stall locations. But if I went like all the way to here, just out of curiosity, that's a pretty big plot. 
Let's instead... Let's go here. All the way around. Um, have this little corner be it? Oh, I don't know. This is so difficult. Hmm. How do we want to place our market? I'm really tempted to just make this whole area like our marketplace, but I want to make it also kind of the middle of this area. I wish I didn't have these supplies here. Somebody disconnects this panel from the building. Well, I don't want that necessarily. I just want this supplies to be gone. Is there a way for me to... I wish there was a way for me to move it. Let me pause before we get too deep in. Man, look at the rain. That's cool. All right, let's do this. Let's get you... Yeah, that's fine. Um, let's see if they end up moving this stone because of it. No unassigned families to guide the ox. All right, so we're kind of in a predicament there. How much wood do we got? We got plenty of wood. We have no planks because we don't have the saw pit. How are we doing on food? And all that other jazz. Uh, where the heck's the food? Do we have enough food, guys? Okay. Number of months before supplies run out. All right. We look like we're doing fine there. Is that changing anything? No. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, here. Wow, interesting. There's a whole extra tech tree. After you reach the next settlement level, you will be granted a development point to spend. Unlock development branches to make your region more efficient. To enact policies, you need to rise, raise, rise, no, rise. It should be raise. You need to raise your administration level by building administrative buildings like the manor. Okay. Well, look at that. A lot of different options here. Armor making, barn supplies, trade logistics, heavy plow, sheep breeding, orchards, trapping, forest management, and beekeeping. All right, so we need burgage plots at level one or higher. To get to a medium village, we need at least two burgage plots at level two or higher. Oh, and then there's other stuff too. There's policies signed. So I don't have anything for those yet. And then production. Okay. Cool beanies. Cool beanies. Okay. Um, it's a problem. I really need to get this marketplace done. And this thing is being a pain. So I really want to leave this area for other stuff. Or for housing, I think, specifically. So why don't we just do this? We're gonna make this our marketplace. All the way up here, we're gonna go to here. Connect it like that. There we go, look at that. We'll make that our marketplace. Wait, why can't I do this? All right, well, I gotta move this again. Whoops. You are going to be relocated. We're going to relook at you over here. Hmm. Where do we relocate the ox, the cow? Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff, I think, to do out here. I like our hitching post being in the center-ish of town. Um, okay. You know what? I'm just going to make our marketplace a little bit smaller for now. That is what I have decided. Thus, it is what we will do. Okay. That's still pretty good. 34 locations for stalls. I feel like that's good enough. Supply and demand. A well-supplied marketplace is the lifeblood to your town. Assigned families will set up stalls automatically as long as there's enough space in the market. Hover over specific categories to check your current supply and demand. Burgage plots closest to the market get their market requirements filled first. Well... That's why we're doing that, man. Because then we also got more burgage plots to make. So we're going to put one all the way out here. I don't know why it's going... Why is it snapping there? I don't want it snapping there. Mm, okay, whatever. We'll deal. Alright, so let's get you like that. 
get you back here like a debt. Oh, look at that. Two houses, huh? I don't like that. We'll just do one. Well, what else am I going to do with that area? I don't know yet. We'll decide later. So let's get our other Burgage plot built so that then we can see if we can get our, new, our first family in here. And then we'll probably call it an episode because we're getting close to that time. I want to uh, keep this first one around an hour. The rest of them will probably be about a half hour. We'll have to see. There's a lot that goes on in this game. So, um, All right, so berry deposits are going down a little bit. Hunting is great. Twid seam. We're only in June as well. Let's speed some things up here. All right, so they're building out the housing area here. Oh, they're starting to get the markets put together, huh? All right, that's good news. And we'll eventually move that hitching post and probably just put a burgage plot here, maybe. Something like that. Have you marked the joist for the rafters already? Firewood stall. Oh, okay, nice. So we've got our first couple stalls here. Look at this. Our marketplace. It's beautiful. All right, we got our water set up here pretty well. Like our well, ha, <laughs> pretty well. Look at me being stupid. All right, we haven't even looked at some of these other things. Industry, a bloomery, smithy, clay furnace. All right, trade, we'll need a trading post eventually. Settlers camp, a manor, there we go. We will eventually make our mana. It's the name of the game after all. Cosmetics, erase shrubbery, and put shrines. Okay. Well, once we have our religion set up, I guess we can do that. But let's uh, see our house get built here. Look at him go. That's crazy. So good thing is, is we have a lot of food. We have a lot of other stuff for the winter. I really want to get our approval rating up to 50. What's interesting is I don't really know how. So what else do we need? Church access, a clothing stall. So that's what's going to get you guys to be happy. I guess the food stall. We need more food, maybe? Let's see. Supply and demand. Food variety, 70%. We have no clothing yet, which is fine. Understandable. Okay, well, what else do they want then right now? I'm confused because we got our berries. We've got our hunting stuff. I am confuzzled here. What else is there for us to make right now? There's a forester's hut, but I don't need that. A mining pit. Don't need that either. I've already got the hitching post set up. Um, well, I really don't have enough goods to send anybody right now. I guess I could make a church at some point, but I would need to get the saw pit going. And I don't need that at the moment. Oh, market food variety. We're going up. Oh, guys, we're doing it. We're going to get to 50 here pretty soon. I'm going to speed things up and let's get to 50%. That's what we need. Look at that, 48% plus two from Market Food Variety. Look at you. Look at this market doing its thing. These guys are just chilling over here in a corner for some reason. I'm glad everybody's doing their bartering that they need to. Goods for goods, baby. Goods for goods. I like it. Okay, exposed goods. Needs a storehouse. I have a storehouse. Holy moly. Okay, what else has freaking stone? Uh, that's th The church is next. That'll get rid of this stupid thing of supplies i had already heard that there were problems with like ass or having like these things go to be picked up well you know what wait let's just do that because i don't have anybody that i necessarily need to go pick things up right now oh we got so much food look at all this and fuel wow all right so how does that change our mil our military we have large shields and spears Oh, yeah, I didn't even check. Did we get that filled mostly? Yeah, so all five of them have that stuff. But I don't have enough people to... Oh, I can rally. <gasps> you know what? Just for fun. 
Let's just get them rallied right here real quick. Select your units with left mouse button, hold and drag to select multiple units. Command to select units with right mouse button, hold and drag to form a line. Hold alt while dragging to keep the formation when multiple units are in command. Hold control and right click to draw waypoints for a single squad. All right, well, let's see. I'm curious. The combat strength of your units depends on many factors. Stances, check the army tab below to set them all have pros and cons. Morale is the willingness to fight. If it reaches critical points, some stances will become unavailable and eventually the unit will flee. Fatigue, so just running, okay. Effectiveness is the attack. The unit might have a hard time fighting uphill. Archers struggling while shooting in the rain. Hold tab to inspect that. Okay, so here we go. Here's our first militia, men. Look at them. Man, they think they're cool with their big shields. All right, so let's pick them up. And then, oh, I can draw their line like this. Nice. Good job, men. Uh, yeah, I want you guys facing this way. Very cool. Watch for missiles, balance, stand your ground. Wow, okay. Give ground even. Holy moly. All right, so I said something about control. So it makes them move that way. Wow, okay. Wow, okay. That's really cool. Now, how do I get rid of them? Disband unit, run to positions, hold. So if I have them running, hold. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. That's really cool. That is one of the coolest things I think I've seen in a game in a really long time, actually. It's so simple, yet it makes so much sense. Okay. We're almost at 50%. We should be getting that here with our market soon. So let's hope that next month, August, will be the month that we needed. It is. We're at 50%. This is what they said we needed. Well, why don't we have the storehouse? The storehouse is filled. Okay, good. Wait, did they get rid of it? Oh, they did it. They did it. Look, it's so beautiful. Oh, I'm a happy boy right now. Look at that. No more rocks. Goodbye, rocky rocks. All right, so our storehouse is doing what it needs to do. We should get a new family here very soon, I would think. Maybe in the next month or so. Oh, no. Um, resources stolen by nearby bandits. What? From what? From where? It's wild. Right, am I able to tell them where I'd like for them to go? Hmm. Not really. Okay. So we got Forager. We don't have anybody in the granary. I don't know if we need to... I'm almost feeling like we can take stuff out of the, the people for storage for right now. Let's get them on the saw pit. Start getting our uh, our logs put together here. Because you can see they're starting to stack up. When is our next family going to get here? We must speed things up. Must move forward. Give it just another minute here. But man, look at these views. So crazy to me. I wonder where we're going to put this hitching post. New mercenary companies available. Good. Generic storage. Full. Oh, yeah, because I don't have the, the person. No. Honestly, hmm, do I feel like we have enough logs already? No, wait. Why did it go down? Oh, it went down because of the storehouse. Crap. Come back. Go to the storehouse. Fill things up, please. I was wrong. I was wrong to make you cut logs. You didn't really make any, but... Wait. But where? How are they stealing this stuff? Oh. Are they coming in to our houses? No, that's just somebody who works here. Or who lives here. Going about their daily life. Can we see into their houses? Can we get in? Nope. We cannot. All right, well, we'll take a minute while we're waiting, and uh, we'll go down and check out our village. Look at everybody running around here. So we have... This looks like the fire logs place. 
This is our saw pit. Hello, Albrecht. The cow, the ox. We got our foraging hut over here. I wish I could go like inside, that'd be cool. That'd be a lot to ask, but it'd be cool. Granaries up, which makes sense because you don't want rodents. What is this again? Oh, this is the storehouse. So look at all those pelts, some rocks, those annoying rocks that we had before. Run! Right, there's our our logging camp, and we're gonna run down our main street. Look at this. Ah, oh. feel like you're at the Renaissance. Me too. <laughs> where's this? Where's this dog? Where's the dog? I don't know. Now there's cows, but I'd only hear the one. Okay, let's go check out the market. Wonder if we could like buy goods. This is the market area. I'm coming over here, guys. Don't worry about me. Hello, ma'am. Do you have any any goods to sell? You have logs. I will barter with you. I will give you one thumbs up as your lord. <laughs> and you, Mr. Barry Man. You will also get one thumbs up. Oh, you also have other food. The carcasses. Beautiful. You know what? We're going to run out to where I believe the uh, animals are and then I think we're just gonna call after that cuz I gotta I gotta you know I gotta stop at some point and then we'll have something to look forward to in the next episode there it is look <gasps> yeah sorry you guys gotta walk so far but you know you guys are hunters so get to the hunter camp go I'm running through the beautiful wilderness. Here they are. Doing their thing. Hmm. It has no head. I cut the head off already. Look at that. Is that like a bucket for blood? I think it is. Oh, I almost stepped in the blood. <laughs> I would have been bad. Look, we got the carcasses over here. Got the skin taken off for the clothes that we need, even though I'm a lord. So some of my clothes are not from that. And then they have a little tent on here if they need to. That's beautiful. All right. Well, we're at 51%. Speed it up a little bit. Oh, we do have a... Wait, is this, so is there a point that I can use yet? I guess I can. We'll, we'll save that for next time, too. Because it looks like I have one development point that I want to use. But I think for now, we're going to call it here. We're going to get a nice little view. Wow, look at that. Dang. That is, that is really nice. That is beautiful. We have the starts of our first town. So I, I'm loving this game already. I can tell you I'm probably going to be so far ahead on episodes on this first let's play um i will be taking all comments and, and questions and everything as best as i can i'll answer them um on the youtube channel as it saves again but uh please let me know what you guys think of this game let me know what you think of our town what you think of uh this playthrough if there are if there are things that you want me to do i will try to add them um but i normally record in batches to be honest with you so I may not be until the second or third batch that I get to some of the things that you request. But if you notice things, I'm going to be trying to release this as frequently as I can. Um, I think my release schedule obviously is going to be Friday. Uh, for this first week, I'm going to try to release one episode every single day this week. That is going to be my goal. I cannot promise that necessarily because there are a lot of other things I have to do for work. But I am I'm going to do my best to get this all to you guys. Um, as quickly as possible we'll do one a week and then after that first week I'll probably have a schedule decided and I will let you know what that looks like so uh, if you want to even know what the schedule is going to be make sure you're checking out these episodes uh, they will be releasing like I said daily so day one is going to be uh, on that what April 26th at 
Oh gosh, what's it gonna be? At uh, well, I don't know what time it's gonna be, but it's gonna be a Friday. So Friday to Friday, my goal is to have this out to you guys as quickly and often as possible. So, um, let me know what you guys think again, and and please like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I plan on creating a lot more of it, but I'm looking forward to continuing this journey with you guys in our new town on Manor Lords. And with that, I'll catch you guys on the next one.